After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another I'm originally from Los Angeles, California. Um, I actually joined the military in 2000. Um, that's how I ended up in Texas. I got stationed at Fort Hood, found the opportunity to become a detention officer for the first time in 2004. I found what I was looking for. I found a sense of belonging to something greater than myself, and that's important to me. Officer Hernandez. Mr. Hernandez, you're coming with me. So I had Castaños move somebody earlier on a disciplinary. Um, go ahead and tell them what he told you. When we were coming to J Block, he told me he wanted to talk to me about some contraband that we might find on the tent. Uh, apparently, they have some Xanax, they have some drugs, they have, they have red man tobacco. So we're going to move everybody to a day room. Those two inmates that we already identified, uh, we're going to do a full strip search on them. Everybody else, we're just going to pat them down, send them to the rec yard. Once everybody's out, we're going we're gonna to search the, the block. So we're going we're gonna to hit those two specific bunks and see what we get. Sir. Ready? All right, let's go. Five twenty-nine to the ten. Could you meet, meet me at your door, please? What's going on, brother man? Where? Where? Ah, it was you. Gentlemen, go ahead and go into the day room, please. Day room, gentlemen, everybody to the day room. Wake up! Yeah, hey, gotta do a search, brother. Gotta do a search. Y'all messing up. We're clear on the bunk area. Right here, brother man. No tobacco. Yeah. Step outside. Get you some fresh air. You smell like tobacco right here. Ooh. Smell like tobacco. Yeah. It was tobacco. Got another, another glove. This one might have something. Salento, can I borrow your scissors real quick? Might be lucky. Yep, tobacco. Tobacco? Where are you, sir? And whose bunk is that? 48. That's the admin porter, correct? Right, son. Go ahead and pull him in. Here you go. They will usually bring it in on their prison pocket. That's how we call them here. We got porn, dices, it's gambling. We're not, we don't allow inmates to do any gambling. We just found tobacco in your tub. Yes, sir. Okay. And the reason we decided to come in today was because we heard that you had tobacco. Yes, sir. Someone had brought it in and he sold it to me. He, he sold it. Left, he yeah. sold it to you. Yeah. He What'd you give him for it? A couple of soups. A couple of soups. Yes, How long ago was that? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I appreciate you being honest. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. You know what's gonna happen from here, right? Yes, sir. We'll see. We'll go from there. Okay. Yes, sir. You found more? Ah, tobacco. Have you never seen this right here? Yes, okay. It's fresh too. And where was that? Uh, toilet area. Hernandez found it. So I guess our information was correct. We got dices, we got staples so far, paper clips, tobacco, cigarettes, nail clippers. And nail clippers. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. And this and is all this sign. is all off the same same email. Same out of five. Okay. These yeah. are our trustees. That's why we can trust them. I have a little tobacco there. They used to make the cigarettes with. This was found on the same inmate with the rest of this stuff here. It was wrapped up in the tip of a glove. That's probably how he smuggled it in. Ain't no telling where that has been. Now, the tobacco itself is not only a facility rule violation, it can actually lead to criminal charges. Uh, Texas state law will allow us to charge them because although tobacco in and of itself is not illegal, it is a prohibited substance in our facility because of our policies. Whether or not I actually charge him with that, it's up to him. If he decides to be cooperative with me, I can work with him. We can keep it internal. If he decides not to, then we can find other ways to for corrective action. We're continuing the search. We'll see what else comes up. So far, so good. So here's the deal. There's some stuff that I'm going to want to discuss in private with you. Um, some stuff that I want you to clarify. I know you did you did fest that it is yours, which I appreciate. Most people try to lie their way out of it, so I appreciate your honesty. Okay, right off the bat, um, you are going to get you're going to have to move. I'm pretty sure you saw that coming. 
um, you are gonna get reclassified. However, I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Download Veely now. Because you were honest with me from the get-go, I'm not gonna rack you. I'm not gonna stick you in Max, I'm not gonna rack you up. Um, but I am gonna have to take your, your job status, unfortunately. Having the tobacco in here is not only a rule violation, we can actually charge you with it. But it's outlawed by our policy, which makes it prohibited substance, congressional facility, felony three. You don't need that crap. Okay, so we'll talk in private. What happens from there is gonna depend on you. Okay, you'll be the DJ, I'll dance to whatever song you wanna play. Okay, we'll take care of you. So this gentleman here was the one that we found all the contraband on during uh, today's search. He's gonna no longer be a working inmate after today, and we'll see what he has to say tomorrow. They're heading back in now. The officer that was watching them will go in and re-enter the tent and resume normal jail operations. Uh, we're done for tonight with this block. Let's see what else we can get into. Is that I'm ensuring that the inmates are classified correctly. Determining someone's classification, we take their rap sheet into consideration, which is their previous convictions, their current charge, things of that nature. That's part of my responsibilities as the classification officer. Mr. Dale? Yes, sir. How many people do we have ready for housing right now? Uh, there's a few we're working on. Um, we've, we've still got a few. We've got to get into medically assessed. Uh, there's one we're about to pull right now. He's I don't know. He's been a little uncooperative since he got here the other day, so. Let's go ahead and get him medically assessed first. If you have any issues with him, let me know. Will do. All right, thanks, sir. All right, no problem. Now, part of the process for getting them housed, we have to get them medically assessed. Um, we have to get them classified, get them showered, get them booked. Yeah, but I feel very right. Just say you've either just gone to medical, yeah, I, done what I you was going to go for some shoes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he was Get, take your clothes off. Take your clothes off. Oh, you All know. I asked for was some shoes. Take your clothes off. Well, let go, man. Take them off. You need to quit trying to man. Take, take them off. off. All I asked for was some shoes. You said you ain't got any. I don't follow out there. Take them off. Lie, mother. <clears throat> All I do is ask for some shoes. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> he pulled away from me. <laughs> he did. Down he went. Yeah. Just now? Just now. Where were you? <laughs> I was hoping you'd zap him. Call me. You're good. What, was he in a holding cell or was he out of Yeah, he was in a holding cell and we they needed to move him for whatever reason. Uh, I think it was to go see medical and he refused to go see medical. Went to grab his arm and lead him out and he jerked away and kind of kind of halfway swung, you know. Active resistance. So um, he went to the, the wall camera, and- It happened, so it happened inside the whole yes, cell? Yes, in, inside the, the camera? Cell. Yeah, yeah. I'll pull, the, I'll pull the video for you guys. I'm willing to bet we haven't heard the last of him tonight. Okay, I got the footage pulled up of your incident. Okay. Talk me through it, man, what's going on? Well, so he refused to go and see the, uh, the nursing staff to get medically assessed and um, he had been here for 48 hours, and you know, by policy, if, we, if they refuse to do that, we have to put them in VC and assume that they might be a suicide risk. This is the initial contact we had. Gave him the option to come out. He didn't want to, and then this, oh. that's when he decided to pull away. He almost hit me when he did it, so that's when we had to get hands on and yeah, he, yeah. forcefully He pulled away him. from you. Finally got him into the cell, and once we got him in there, he was a little bit more cooperative. And All right, good job, brother. Were you under the influence when you came in? No. You weren't drinking? No? Every time that we tried to talk to you on Monday, it was F off. Yeah, I understand that. I was pissed off. I'm yeah. here for something I know I didn't do. That's probably why you didn't go see the judge, and that's probably why you didn't get a sit down with pre-trial, man. So you, you, you got to chill out, man. But you know, I want this stuff just like y'all want it, man. Get you I'm booked in. Whatever, man. I just okay. want to break in a mattress, man. And you and me never had a problem, man. I know I didn't do it. What you're saying, I've done, man. Words to the wise, man. Whenever we tell you to do something, 
If I've got no problem with that, man. It's just how you gonna say it, man. Okay, well, if we're telling you to do something and you're not doing it, and then we we go to get you and help you to do what we're telling you to do. I understand, man. You know? I know I haven't been right either, man. Okay. Right, so she's gonna go. I, I do apologize, sir. She's gonna go ahead and clean you up. When we get back to booking, you gotta go back in that same cell, or can I put you somewhere else where you can? You can put me somewhere else, man. Okay. Hold this up against your ass. Did you work in oil field? Oh, yeah. I have most of my life. What did you do in oil field? I've done just about everything. I mean, like, about, rest about. Oil rig, pumping in, service, you name it, I've done. All right, man. Come on out here for me. We're going to get your fingerprinted, get your mug shot and everything taken care of, get your phone call. Go and have a seat right there, but they're ready for you. The second there. Second one. Second store right there. So you're going to be cool from now on? Yeah. You understand what's going on? Yeah, I apologize for what happened. OK, I appreciate that. I went over your classification. What bumped you for minimum is the fact that it's a felony three, not a state jail felony. Uh, that by repetition, you're being accused of taking two Kawasaki hedge trimmers totaling $1,600. Yeah, theft less than $1,500, two or more previous convictions. OK. That, that, that was the kicker. That's what bumped it from a state jail to a felony three. Right. That's, that's no way, man. There's no way two hedge trimmers would cost 1600 bucks, man. They're lucky if they cost 200 but the most. That's what you're accused of, man. Uh, where you got to house me at? Uh, J Block. And that's like where? But it's, it's a dorm setting just similar to the tent. All right, brother, man. So we'll get you out there here shortly, right? All right. Thanks, Lars. Oh, she said I could get another ice pack if I needed one? We'll get you one. Tarrant County, we take pride in uh, make sure our jail is one of the cleanest jails in the state. The officers make sure that we have trustees that we employ. We'll always stay painted, cleaning. We'll wipe down flat surfaces. We look for dust. We look for everything. We don't let anything go unnoticed. Uh, we want the environment to be as clean as possible for our officers. Hey, Connor, what, what's going on with you? Uh, I missed court the other day. Yeah. Kind of, what what they uh, what they tell you in court? Uh, I hadn't actually got to go to court yet. I just showed up to court for today, and they yeah. kind of took me back there and told me I need to come to jail. What charge you got? What happened? Man, me and my ex-girlfriend yeah. just kind of got in an argument, mm -hmm. and I just bought her a phone like the day before, and we broke up, so I went to her house. Right, right, right. Basically took the phone. To go get I, the phone back, right. Took right. the phone that I bought her, and that makes me, you know, criminal. <laughs> did you have to go into her, did you go into her house or did you go get the phone? Yes, sir. Did she get mad or her parents got mad or what? Uh, yes, sir, her parents. Yeah. yeah, they all got mad. I mean, everything's cool now with them. That's, they don't have no hard feelings or nothing. Everything seems to be fine with them. But she's kind of the judge now. Not the typical inmate that we normally yeah. get being 18, so. But he's got a new CID number, so we know. Right, so he's fresh in here. Yeah, you can really tell that uh, this is new process for him. This is not a, really an environment that he's used to. A lot of these experienced inmates, these convicts, will, will pick up on the fresh ones, the ones that have never been here before. And even here in the booking process before they get housed, it's easy for the younger ones to get manipulated uh, into doing things that they wouldn't normally do. So that's why we walk around with the younger ones. Let's make sure they get from process to process on booking. We'll talk to you later. We got a situation going on over here. I'm telling him to take off all the stuff, put it in the bag. He's refused to listen to me. He says, I ain't doing this goddamn and That's not no, what I said. where's the property That's bag. exactly not what I said. He slams me on the ground. He takes me over there first. And he's like, well, you want to learn a lesson? You want to learn a lesson? And I said, like, I'm really not trying to learn nothing. He's like, well, you're going to learn a goddamn lesson today. And he slammed my head up against that wall right there, threw me on the ground, put me in handcuffs, and walked me out there. I swear to God. Honest story, put it on my life. All right, yeah. stand up, turn around. Back down and turn, put your clothes on. Talk to it's really not a threat, but I'm not, I'm not in the free world, dude. I swear to God, wait, you just slammed my head. I ain't a threat or nothing, but I will say something. Put your underwear in that bag, too, Connor. Mm -hmm. Tell me again what he did. When I was uh, dressing him out, Told him to take all off all of his clothes, put them in the bag. I told him to go ahead, put the boots in the bag first. Okay. He told me at that point, I'll do how I goddamn well want to do it. 
At that time, I went to take the boots, put them into the bag, and he started to bow up on me. Yeah. So I turned around, I pushed him off onto the For wall. For your safety and everything. Told yeah. him to stay on the wall or until I could get some any additional other inmates help. back there? Anybody there was one more inmate that back there. I told him to stay on the wall. And then that dude just kept yeah. turning around. Yeah. He got into it with a couple of inmates down there. They were calling him pretty boy, and yeah. one called him a lawyer. Right, so right. he was already a little bit aggressive. This is part of him being new in jail and not knowing how to deal with the situation. So we'll just let's see how he have, handles it upstairs, and we'll go from there. So. All right. All right, man, thanks. Keep your back on the wall right here. Okay. What happened downstairs? I understand you were a little agitated. Oh, yeah, definitely. And you calmed down now? Yes, sir. You understand we have rules? Yeah. Whatever that officer tells you to do, you need to stick to it. If somebody yes, says sir. put your hands on the wall, you keep your hands on the wall and you don't move. We are going to move you to the other side, but you're going to be okay while you're here. You're going to follow all these rules. I don't know how long you plan on being here. Do you? Nah, I'm going to get out of here pretty quick no as soon as I can. Okay. All right. You ready to go back? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's in a pod with 70 other inmates, so there's a lot of different situations that could happen. And as if we can correct his attitude, his personality now, maybe they can keep him out of trouble. It seems like he may end up having to learn the hard way with his attitude, but... Uh, he's a little young, a little he naive. Is, yeah, he's yeah. got a lot to learn, so this is a, this is a new place for him. So. It is. He might be on the right path, hopefully. I think he will. down here to Texas about 23 years ago. It's a big state. It's a perfect climate for riding motorcycles, lots of sporting events, going to Rangers games. Uh, probably plan on staying here for quite a while. So, Rebecca, what are you uh, here for today? Uh, theft. From theft 100 to 700. What, uh, what, what makes you want to take something? Or are you claiming you didn't take something? Because I got caught up in the wrong crowd and got mixed up in the world of drugs and dancing with the devil. It's just a terrible, terrible path to go down. I'm trying to get out of, but... Tell, tell me a little bit about the theft. What was it, What was the deal there? Um, I was trying to help my boyfriend get out of a situation he was in. Huge mistake. I was taking something to pay off a debt for him to get him out of trouble. And When's the last time you were in jail? Um, about six months ago. What was that for? Probation violation. Or what yeah. charge? Theft? Theft. All right, Rebecca, we're going to go get your picture taken now. You said this is the second theft? Yeah. Do you use any drugs? I do. I smoke meth. You smoke meth? Um, How long have you been doing that? Not even a year. No. No, and I got out of it. I quit. I was clean when I got out of jail the first time. And then I was trying to help him. He shoots it. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to help him, which made me fall back, relapse, right. and yeah. back into it, which the I was people. stupid for thinking yeah. that I could help him. But well, We're going to get your uh, picture taken. Let's stand right here on this wall for me. So your boyfriend, how long have you been with him? Um, I've known him for probably about three years, but Since I've been, been with Texas? him. Yeah. Yeah. Never been in trouble a day in my life. Yeah. Never until I moved to Texas and got caught up in drugs. Never even Bad been stuff. in trouble for a speeding ticket. Because the drugs make you do stupid things, you know? It turned me into someone I don't even know who I am. Like, my mom doesn't even know who I am. I don't know how long you'll be here, whether they'll revoke your probation. But for the time here, you'll have a few days of being clean. Yeah, definitely. I already feel better being off of it. That's good. Ms. Flores here will uh, take care of you and do your ID part here. Okay, thank you. Yep. Rebecca's going to see the judge this, this morning. Um, she's wanted by another county. So let me go talk to her, see what's going on. Rebecca. Over here. How you been? I've been OK. I've been doing better. What are you down here in booking again for? Because my Dallas bondsman went off my bond, I guess, because I got arrested, and that's a violation. Mm -hmm. So he went off my bond, so I guess I gotta get re rained on it. It's a theft charge. And actually, I'm out on bond in Palapinto, too. Oh. But. Any chance of them to go off that one, too? I don't know. What's that charge? That's a possession. Possession. One to four. Tomorrow's my release date. Right. For here. And then I got 10 days, I guess, to wait for Dallas to come get yeah. me. It's okay, because I want to be done with it. Not come back? My mom's already got me set up for rehab and Abilene and everything, so. That's excellent. After I get done with all this, I'll be going to rehab, yeah. which I need. That's I good. Think it'll help me. 
My mom always says, there's only one thing you need to change if you want to get off drugs, and mm. that's everything. Yeah, she's probably right. Moms usually are. Well, good luck to you, Rebecca. Rebecca seems to uh, have the right state of mind. She's a little better today than she was the first time we talked to her. Uh, she's got some other charges in other counties she wants to deal with. And it sounds like she's got some family out there that wants to help her. So, you know, hopefully she takes the right path and doesn't come back in here when she gets all this taken care of. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I was raised in Amarillo, Texas, with the Marine Corps after high school, met my wife, and uh, moved my family back to raise my kids here in the great state of Texas. We have two APD units coming in with a combative, violent male, so we're going to meet them out here and see what's up. Fight, bang his head, call oh, everybody yeah. out. Everyone's going to jail, everyone's going to prison. He's under arrest for a felony, and we better change it to a misdemeanor, or he's going to sue us all and get us all put in prison. OK, let's get it. What am I under arrest for? I already told you. Aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, domestic violence. What deadly weapon? The line up. Yes, sir. Let's go. We're going to put you in prison, folks. They have no witnesses, bro. Medical 25 bucking, check a new one. I'll be out in 10 days. Face the wall. Okay. Spread your legs. I got you. Do we have the camera down here? No, nothing I know of. Yeah, we'll need pictures. Oh, you want pictures? Hey, he talked my wife and they're pressing charges on something she didn't even know about. I'm going to take your belts off. Yeah, y'all are going to prison, buddy. All right, cool. Why don't y'all go ahead and kill me, too? What are you doing? Stop. Stop. Why don't y'all go ahead and kill me, too? Relax. Relax. Wax, we're gonna put you on the ground. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't resisting. Yeah, you Show the camera. That's resisting right there. Stop. Show the camera. Stop. Show the camera. You're about to go down to the ground. Show the camera that I ain't resisting. Relax. Nothing. Nothing. Told you to stop. I hope you not kill me. We're not trying to kill. Y'all trying to kill me. I'm glad. Hey guys, go get a chair, please. I'm die in our I'm glad to go. The take off my pants. That's oh, my yeah. right. They're killing me. We're not killing you. Boy, you Stop know. hitting me. You got hurt. Get your hands down. You got hit the hot in the church. Sit back. Do not go pee first. Nope. nope. You're done. Nope. Don't I'm going to piss on one of y'all. Nope. Well, you piss on one of us, you'll catch another charge. Why'd y'all put that on me? It's a spit mask, so you can't yes, spit Yes, that screen should help with the spit mask. Y'all are going to kill me. Sir, please. I'll spit on y'all if I'll take this mask off. Nope. So, uh, what's the deal with Kevin out here? OK, uh, we got a whole bunch of calls of someone saying that there was a white male beating up a white female on Emerald Boulevard. She positively identified him as her boyfriend and as the one who was causing the problems. Eventually, we get the story from her that he had grabbed her, thrown her to the ground, kicked her, punched her, choked her, and then grabbed a glass Coke bottle and thrown it at her head. So we arrested him for attempted aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, domestic violence, and he went off, kind of. He started trying to drop to the ground, trying to kick his foot in the door when we were trying to shut it, banging his head, and keeping up the act you've seen since we've been here. Okay. So the injuries he has, I guess, were sustained from yes, he, while he was already in the vehicle. He got the injuries on his head from banging his forehead on the window of my patrol unit. All right, we've got him now. We'll hold on to him for a few hours, let him sit in the chair. And... All right, good luck with Kevin. Thanks. All right, I'm sorry, sir. I don't want no rice. I just want y'all to take this off. Listen to me. If you behave, when we come back in here in a few hours, we may take that off. No, in a few hours, well, hey, uh, God, then, then, then we'll leave it on out, all day. I'll be out in the morning. Does What's it matter? your badge number? 146. Does it 146? matter? 146. Yeah. Nah, there's four numbers. What's your badge number? Zero. 146. 146. Zero, 146. 
All right, Hitch. We'll see how you are in a few hours. Yeah, I'll see how I am in about 10 minutes because I'm going to kill myself. You guys got charged me with false accusements. We didn't, we didn't charge you with anything. Yes, sir. I need, a, I need to go to the hospital. So you got cut yeah. on your head? Yes. Yeah. I got to lean forward. We're going to lean you forward. Quit doing that to me. Bitch. Now, if you want to get his blood pressure rolled. No, I don't want my blood pressure took and look what they're doing to me, sir. It hurts. If, if you would relax, it wouldn't hurt. That don't hurt me. My dad's a military man, bitch. Then you ought to know how to act. Ha ha. I'm a lot tougher than you, son of a bitch. Wish your dad's numbers. I want a judge here now. Judge <laughs> Roberts! That's not gonna happen. Judge Roberts! Yeah, I might be a tough son of a bitch, but I'm not gonna fight y'all. You fought me a few minutes ago over there. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. That's why I put you on the ground. You're a lying piece of Kevin, you're not, you're not going to win this battle, OK? So yes, I am. No, you're not. This time I'm suing y'all. Get away from me. That's the man that's trying to make sure your blood pressure and everything's good. My blood pressure ain't good. Yeah, it is. It was fine. No, it ain't. Yeah. No, it ain't. All right, Kevin. What's your name, sir? You already, you've already been told. What's your name? You've already been told. You're going to jail just like I'm in jail. Okay. Okay. We'll talk to you in a little while. Yep. Okay. I got that to stop my ass, bitch. Kevin's been in here a few hours now. He's calmed down quite a bit. You got anything else to do? Yeah. Kevin, we're trying to get take care of you. Treat this water. I'm not gonna fight shot tonight. Okay, okay, hold on. One step at a time. You've already gone the first step. Okay? Yeah, that it? Yes. Okay. All right. Go we'll come back and check on you here in a little while, okay? Yeah. All right. Due to his suicidal statements, he will be held on a suicide watch. We'll just continue to keep an eye on him. He'll be able to see the judge in the morning to face a charge of aggravated assault. The best part about this job for me is uh, when the younger kids come in, talking to them, figuring out what kind of situation they're in, give them some advice the best I can and see if I can help lead them down the right path. Throw any hits or anything? No? Frank, we got somebody in booking. I got you. Uh, me. All right, let's go, bud. Yeah. No, you won't. It's done and over with, man. What happened? Why'd you hit him? I was with the rag and he wants to say some slime to me, so I go there, I confirm him back. He wants to push me like I'm a little bitch, so I swung up. He well, says you hit him from behind. Ain't nobody hit him from behind. You can see that on the camera. What was being said? I'm, I'm doing my thing. I'm cleaning the table up. I swing the rag. He's walking up behind me. So he wants to say something fly on his way over there. Somebody else, I hear him. So I said, look, you got something to say to me? He's like, yeah, if you hit me with that rag, I'll beat your ass or something. So I go there, I'm like, might as well do it now. So he pushes me and says, look, dude, like I'm this little bitch or something. And I swing sure. <clears throat> That's from just now? Yes, sir. All right. Have a second. So, he's... He shoved you first. I, I don't understand the deal with the towel. Swing the towel doing what? Which kind of, where's the wind, Dixie? I'm cleaning the table. No. So you're not, you're not coming at him, you're not popping him with a wet towel, you're not... You're just swinging the towel, doing your deal. Yes, sir. And he gets mad. He gets mad. What, for what? What was said that made him mad? I don't know. He, he turns around. He's trying to look cool in front of everybody. He's like, man, if you pop me with that towel, beat this bitch ass. So I said, excuse me, dude. So he said, if you pop me with that towel. All right. Okay. Hold him. Just hang tight. We're going to have medical come look at your hand. So Chance says that this other guy started it. So let's go in there and talk to him and see what he has to say. 
I have a sheet right there for me, Will. He stated he was swinging all around, at which point you said something about... Yeah, I said, don't hit me. I okay. said, don't hit me with this head. And then he called you out on it. And then he I said, said... what did you say? And then that's when I turned around. Okay, he said he showed him first. No. Okay. My question is, is if he was swinging a towel and not bothering you, why would you even make that statement? When, when I walked by, he swung the towel, he swung the towel around both of them, about me and another inmate. I said, don't hit me with that towel. You said, don't hit me with that towel or don't hit me with that towel? No, I said, don't hit me with that towel. Okay. And then I walked to the back. He said, what did you say? And I turned around, come back. I said, no, what did you man? I turned around, come back, and that's when he hit me. With, just hit you from behind? He hit me from behind. You can ask the inmates tonight. Right. Okay, hang up. Hey, Corbo, can we pull up the video from the fight in the kitchen? Oh, yeah, just pulled it up. Let's watch it and see if we can figure out who actually made the first move. So that's him right here. Yeah. And he says he's swinging the towel around, and yeah. then the other guy says something to him about not hitting him with it. Oh, there it was. Right there. Yeah. The young kid did swing that towel real close to his face. Like I said, depending yeah, on how I don't wet know if it was. It was intentional, though. And it wasn't like he was trying to pop no, him with I'm it. No, I'm going to say it was unintentional because he had his back to him the entire time. And then he just mouthed off. The question is, who shoved the first one? Oh, there he is right mm -hmm. there. There's one. So now I'm looking for any action on the kid's part. Yeah, yeah I just saw there his head. Was. There was the first punch right there. Looks like they went at it pretty good. Yep. And it was all over a towel. All over nothing. They just lost their jobs. Yeah, it looks like they were both fighting. So uh, we'll write them both up. All right, I'll go serve them the review board paperwork. Boy 17, boy 1515. Stand over there in the corner, bud. All right, man, as of right now, both of y'all are going to get written up and put on lockdown for fighting, OK? Now, if you're found that you didn't do anything, it's up to the review board, and there's a possibility that they may let you off and put you back in GP, OK? All right, man. Appreciate your cooperation. Thank you. All right, we'll go. We'll leave here, and we'll go down to the other one and, and uh, explain to him what's going on, too. All right, man. We saw the video as of right now. It shows y'all fighting pretty clear as day. This is not an admission of guilt. You have your chance to give your story based on the review board. If they find you not guilty, you'll be let out back into a GP cell and nothing else. If not, if they find you guilty, they'll determine the amount of days you'll spend on lockdown. All right, you have any questions? No? All right, thank you. <laughs> So I don't understand it. These guys have been trustees for a long time, and they get into it over nothing. And now their trustees status is done. It's time to find some new trustees. I've been working here for the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office for about three years now. I was a bonding clerk for a while, but I've been a CO for about two years now. You never know what you're gonna end up handling. Someone's gonna have a good day, bad day. You never know. Both hands up on the wall. Cam, <laughs> dude, you twist my back. All right, come on, hands up on the wall. Take a step back. Do you know why you're here? Yeah, because they brought me here. Do I know what we're gonna do from here to now? Have you ever been to jail before? I've been to jail, but I've not been arrested, so I'm just hoping you're just the good stripper. You strip me. Come on, no. All right, come on. This way. Take a deep breath. I'm not really anxious. I'm thirsty. Once you're done with the nurse, I will get you some water. So what happened? Where'd you guys find her? Her ex-boyfriend's house. She was over there. She was taking a shower after a shower. She didn't want to leave. He kept asking her to leave. She was causing a disturbance. She refused to leave, so we just had to bring her with us. Has she been drinking anything or on anything? I don't think so. She was just she was screaming. Screaming? And singing. So? Yeah, he invited her last night, and she didn't want to leave today. So he called us, and we took her out. Well, thank you. All right. 
I haven't done anything wrong and I haven't been arrested. Are you hanging up yet? Come over here and have a seat by this young lady. I'm listening to you. Tell me where to sit. If I stop, you're going to tell me not there. Right here in this seat by this nice young lady. You don't have to get all, you know. Hi. How does she know you're a nice young lady? Because you didn't open your mouth? Are you nice? What does that even mean? All right, come on, Brandy. Right here at window three. Window three. Out of what, four? Hello, how are you today? Fine, how are you? I guess I'm a little fine myself. All right, anything that's highlighted is asked before your signature or for you to answer a question, okay? You're not trying to trick me into marrying you, are you? No, I'm already married. But so what? Okay. Do you consider yourself to be gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, or non-conforming? Yes, no, and maybe. I mean, I'm, I consider myself a, 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 you know, I sleep with men mostly. Okay. Is this the first time you've been arrested? I've not been arrested, but no, it's not. Okay. Have you ever been the victim of sexual abuse or harassment? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a victim. Okay, so I'm gonna circle no, okay? Can you sign these for me? Oh, I always sign that one. That's always what I do, right? Yes. All right, thank you uh, so much. Come this way for us and go to the right. Have you done any drugs today? Anything earlier today? Any at all? I really don't remember. All right. Which, I mean, I don't even know what drugs. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna need you to remove all your clothing, okay? Okay. Okay. And then hand them to me, okay? Okay, don't wear all of them. It's my only clothing I own. All right, this is a smart blanket. You're gonna stay in here until we're ready to process you, okay? You do know why you're here today, right? No. So you don't know so you went somewhere and they told you you gotta leave and you didn't leave? Where were you? Uh, it doesn't, it's so confusing. I wasn't trespassing. Okay, we're gonna process you in a few minutes, but you were under arrest today for criminal trespass. The reason why you're in the cell specifically is because what you said to the nurse made her think that you might be a little depressed and you were acting a little erratic. Okay, well, that's so far from the truth. But then I could have been mistaken and just thought she was like somebody else. But then again, I mean, what's erratic? I mean, it wasn't like I was passed out on the floor or anything, right? Well, it's just for your safety, okay? I'm gonna bring you something to drink, okay? No, no, no. I mean, to no, drink anything but water. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. She's obviously got some issues. She's got some behavioral issues. She's not really listening very well. And I guess we'll have to check on her every 15 minutes. Hey, Ricky. Oh, Ricky, sit down. Oh, Ricky. Ricky. Oh. Please. Ricky. What's the white stuff on your nose, Ricky? I don't like that mother right Who you don't like? But you ain't got to deal with him. Ricky. I'm an Indian, mother You hear me? Ricky, you don't have to deal with him anymore. Well, Sit down, look your pants all down around your leg. I remember you. Don't I'm worry about him. Big mother Ricky. Ricky, what you got on your nose? What, what's, what's the paint or whatever that is? That's, is I'm that an paint? Indian. Oh. oh, okay. All right, though. That's your. I don't like white man. Get to the back. Come on, don't worry about him anymore. Come on, go ahead. I'm with all of it. Go ahead, Ricky. Mm, that that mother would have been dead, dead, dead. So, what'd you find, Ricky? Well, he was one of our local convenience stores, probably one of our main thoroughfares. And we had got dispatched to a call about him, and mm -hmm. he wasn't too happy about not being able to cash a check there. And so he started in consuming some alcoholic beverages and wasn't having his way with the people, so I guess he was causing a disturbance, so he had to come stay a night here at the gym. Oh, okay, because he just got out maybe two, three hours. Right before that, I think it was, he probably been here less than a week ago before yeah, that. Yeah, he had so. about five or six jail ID cards on him, so uh, I think yeah. he, uh, He has a whole collection. Not his first time. No, definitely not his Not first his first time, time here, so. so. I was trying to get the Oh, you didn't want to stay close around here. Yeah. Put your stuff in that bag. I got him. I got him. Freaky, what was this for? I was going to take it to my chick's house. You was going to take it to your chick's house? Yeah. This was the right size for your girl? Yeah. All right. OK. Come on, Rick. I'm going to put you right here in B1. I need you to go ahead on and lay down and kind of relax a little I bit. I ain't going to lay down, go man. I've been laying down already forever, man. OK. I barely leave. Rick is one of our regulars here, and uh, we just deal with him. He's not a real bad guy. I guess they got him on a PI again. 
a little upset. By the time he sobers up, he'll be cool and relaxed and everything. What is going on? Are we having a problem, Ricky? A sandwich? I'll see if they have any, OK? Don't kick and beat on the doors, OK? Stop, man. But Ricky, you know what happens, right? Okay, you know what happens, right? He's done this numerous times, so he knows exactly what he's going through right now. He's gonna get moved to a dorm. After he finishes his exercise? Yeah, after he finishes his exercise. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids, I don't want to be...